Right, oh, okay, take it away, Dave. Uh, enough, there's a couple more as well. Um, <clears throat> my, my piece is very long, so if we run out there, I suppose everybody's my, my long winded, verbose tracks. Welcome to everyone. Uh, well, welcome to Poltroon, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, new venue. We're, we're going to be here till about Christmas, we reckon, because it's nice. Uh, uh, my, my turn to read first. Uh, I only finish this about six o'clock tonight, so it might be shit, it might be all right. It's the second uh, episode of my trip to the Incapacity Benefit for Assessment. And uh, it's done in the uh, style of um, outside the head, inside the head. I descend into Tottenham Co Court Road tube station. My nostrils are assailed by a powerful waft of stale urine. I'm suspecting it's probably male urine. I'm a sleuth. <laughs> I turn it around to my olfactory sensors and gargle it in my head, absorbing the stench of mad, lonely London. I think this will come in handy later. I think I'll add this to my all-round mental vibe. What's this cunt doing? Can't you see I'm in a hurry? No, mate, you put your card in there and you press that, yeah? Yeah, that's all right, mate, you're welcome. You stupid fucking cunt, hurry up, I've got to be mad in about an hour. <laughs> I skip down the escalator like a pro, looking over people's shoulders as I go. Oh, really, did he? I was fool you would. Snoggy couple, I used to flick gob on them. Get a room, why don't you? Why isn't everyone else shouting, get a room? Fuck me, get a room! Just squeeze around these bovines to the right. Up, oh, up, oh, there you go. No entry, eh? In through the outdoor, mate. Quick march round against the flow, and there you go. I weave down the platform, find the least congested spot, and then I mind the gap. I weave my toes in my thin, crepe soled shoes, and feel the ridges beneath my feet. A light breeze from the approaching train shunts the distinctive aroma of human detritus before it and stirs up a whiff of my especially smelly hair. Reminds me of my young girlfriend's in her room where we've never spent the night. I don't love her, well, maybe a bit, because she loves me. What's that? When leaving the train, please take all your possessions with you. I haven't brought all my possessions with me. I can hardly believe my ears. Can anyone else believe my ears? Some other cunt, he says he can't believe my ears either. Uh, at the time I got Barry bullshit from the two woodcocks to meet Barry bullshit from the half moon. You could cut the lies with a knife. One lived with his mum, wore a Viking helmet, wielded a broadsword and knew everything there is to know. The other claimed that he owned the weight club and was married to Sam Fox. His acne wept like a big fat leg cancer. <laughs> It needed a wick. <laughs> that reminds me of the time I was caressing an ex's leg, only to realise I had an exploratory finger in an open sore. And she knew what I was doing and broke off from her kissing to ask me how I liked absentmindedly probing her awfulness. I said nothing. I didn't lick my finger then. Though I'm licking it now as the Central Line train decelerates into the station. I have fun in the tube carriage, staring and smiling idiotically at my fellow travellers, venturing to pass pleasantries with one or two in order to test out my withering breath. They flinch, so it gets the thumbs down from Joe Public, which means thumbs up from me. I spread my legs wide and let both my neighbours' knees take the weight of my synthetic clad legs. With an exaggerated gesture, I hawk up a grolly into my mouth and chew it for a while with my mouth slightly open. I catch the eye of a Willie Thorne looky-likey sitting directly opposite me. Give him a friendly wink and say, tasty. He mutters something under his cookie duster and turns his attention back to his newspaper. The bloody Metro again. Everyone in this carriage is clutching a copy. What is this, Metropolis? Everyone. Oh no, that girl's reading a book. Oh, her leather skirt's written up nicely. What's she, what's she reading? 
Oh fuck. Look at the cover. Pastel pink with little crescent moons and stars on it. Probably called My Big Knickers or The Girl Must Shop or How To Get A Man. Nice leg though. As the train pulls into my stop, I suppress a nose to shout, If everything goes alright for me this morning, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all in advance for your generous contributions. <laughs> when I get off, subtle glances are exchanged, eyebrows are gently raised, and bated breath gratefully exhaled. I am king of the tube. I emerge from Marylebone Station with a spring in my step, then remember that I'm meant to be depressed and mad, not to mention the bad back, and reduce my pace and style to a disconsolate shuffle. Fucking West London, where beautiful, angular women marry wealthy trolls in terrible clothes. Look at that silly cunt. Catalogue haircut, shirt tucked in. Tuck it in, tuck it in, you bland, blonde, bourgeois sex of vacuum. Yeah, I'm jealous of your car. Of course I am. I'd rather be carried at home, mate.